Hi, I'm Stephanie Karabek, and I want to show you how you would do your own self-evaluation, which is part of what we need to do this year, sometime this year. So I'm going to Observations and Conduct. And you can see my name comes up, but if it didn't, I would type in the person's name, and it will come up. Um, and there I am. I think I want to look at planning and preparation. And I'm going to look at uh, use of available technology. That's what I want to do a self-observation in. Um, so now I'm going to check off that I am using a discussion board on my Google Classroom and the plan identifies how the technology will be used. If I'm asked, I can demonstrate the technology and when asked, the teacher can articulate how the technology will be used to enhance student learning. That's true also. I'm going to put myself as applying and then I'm going to add some facts and details about why I uh, relate there. But if I, I really need is it, am I really applying? So let me look. Let's see. Because sometimes we use the words without really paying attention to the criteria. Um, let's see. This te The teacher identifies the available technologies that can enhance student understanding and the manner in which they will be used. Yes, I believe I qualify in that area. Um, and then I am going to explain what I am doing and what the plan was. So the students are demonstrating their knowledge of the lesson regarding the code talk. They are using Chromebooks and Google Classroom using a discussion nope I'm going to change that uh, responding to a discussion question post question posted by me a engage, engaging in 21st century learning applying their knowledge uh, and using technology tools, technology tools and tools and tools. Okay, and I could put more. I could put a lot more, but here's the thing. You can upload attachments. These may be pictures. These may be lesson plans. This may be the actual, I can embed the question from um, from Google now. You can embed the question by, by putting, um, by expecting the Google document to just show up. However, you can put a link in there that then your supervisor can copy that link to the Google document and put it in a window and open it up. Google and um, iObservation um, do not, do not um, play together and there's reasons for that. It has to do with security and a lot more than I probably know about the the design of it but um, yeah so you can upload anything you want there you can have the file um, from your computer or like I said you could put attachments well also from the computer or you can also put Google links if you need to um, you can also put YouTube videos and um, video your own lesson or have somebody video you so doing your self observations um, can go like this and you can do many of them um, the more the merrier to demonstrate you know how you are achieving your goals and um, yeah so I hope that helps um, that is the end of this video to show you how to do a self-observation 
you are required to do one, um, but you know, feel free to do many. Okay, I hope this helps.